Magandang buhay! I am Teacher Mary Carnictel. Today, I will be your math teacher. Today's discussion is all about area of squares and rectangles. In the previous lessons, you've learned about linear measure where you measured how long or how wide objects are. In this lesson, you will learn about area measure where both length and width are considered. This makes each unit into a square. Let us define first area. Area is the space occupied by a shape or the surface of an object. The area of a figure is the number of unit squares that cover the surface of a closed figure. Each square is equal to a square unit. The sides of a piece of paper are measured in centimeters. If we want to know the area covered by this paper, we use square centimeters. The sides of a classroom, however, are measured in meters. If the area of the room is to be given, square meters is used. This time, can you help me identify the appropriate unit to be used in each of the given objects? A notebook. What unit are we going to use? Is it square centimeter or square meters? Very good. It's a square centimeter. What is the appropriate unit to use to get the area of a dining table? Very good! It's square meters. What about if we want to measure the area of a playground? Good! It's square meters. How about if we want to get the area of a book? Very good! It's square centimeters. Given the situations, what unit of measurement are we going to use? Nicole's handkerchief has an area of 144. Very good! Square centimeters. The teacher's table is three plank in area. What unit of measurement are we going to use? Good! It's square meters. Doobie's bedroom has a floor area of 24. Very good! Square meters. The area covered by the swimming pool is 60. Very good. Square meters. This time, let's study the figures. Each square is equivalent to 1 centimeter. What would be the area of figure A? Let's try to count the number of squares. 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So figure A has an area of 9 square centimeters. Let's now count the number of squares for figure B. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Figure B has an area of 10 square centimeters. In finding the area of a square, we use the formula A equals S times S. 
the given measurement of each side is 3 cm. We supplement the formula by the given measurements. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. The area of the square is 9 square centimeter. To find the area of a rectangle, we simply multiply the length by its width. The formula is A equals length times width. The length is 5 cm. The width is 2 cm. We supplement the formula by the given measurements. 5 times 2 is 10. The area of this rectangle is 10 square centimeters. Let's practice finding the area by the given formulas. What do you think is the area of the given rectangle? Very good! By following the formula length times width, if we have 5 cm multiplied to 3 cm, the area is 15 square centimeters. What do you think is the area of the given square? Very good! By simply following the formula S times S, if we have 6 cm multiplied to 6 cm, the area of the square is 36 square centimeters. What do you think is the area of this rectangle? Very good! By simply following the formula length times width, 16 times 5 is equal to 80 square centimeter. So the area of the given figure is 80 square centimeters. Lastly, what do you think is the area of the square? Very good! If we multiply 30 by 30, the area of the square is 900 square centimeters. This time, help me answer the given worded problems using the Agona method. A garden plot is 4 meters long and 3 meters wide. What is the area of the garden plot? Our ask is the area of the garden plot. The given is 4 meters and 3 meters. The operation to be used is multiplication. Our number sentence is length times width or 4 times 3. The formula that we're going to use is length times width. The given length is 4 meters. The given width is 3 meters. If we multiply 4 and 3, we will get 12 square meters. So, the area of the garden plot is 12 square meters. Mother is making a sheet to cover a study table. If the table has a length of 30 cm and a width of 24 cm, what is its area? Our ask is to find the area of the sheet cover. Our given is 30 cm and 24 cm. The operation that to be used is multiplication. We will follow the formula of length times width, or 30 times 24. Given the formula length times width, we supplement the given. 30 times 24 is equal to 720 square centimeters. 
So the area of the table cover is 720 square centimeters. Let's have the last worded problem. Maricar gave me a square handkerchief for my birthday. One side measures 15 cm. What is the area of the handkerchief? Ask would be the area of the handkerchief. The given is 15 cm. Our operation is multiplication. We will use the formula area equals to S times S or 15 times 15. By following the formula S times S or 15 times 15, that gives us an area of 225 square centimeter. Therefore, the area of the handkerchief is 225 square centimeters. Remember that the area of a figure is the number of unit squares that cover the surface of a closed figure. To find the area of a square, we use the formula A is equal to S times S. And to find the area of a rectangle, we follow the formula A equals length times width. I hope you learned something from our discussion. Again, thank you for watching!